Hello there, this is Grooving in G and I am going to give you a little tutorial here on Iced Audio Finder and a kind of my favourite features of it and just a bit of an overview. I might do some more tutorials after this one but this is just kind of an introduction to this program uh, hopefully for some people and uh, getting myself on YouTube which I've been trying to do for a long time. So uh, let's get through this first video. To start with, I'm going to show you my, without doubt, my favorite feature of this program. And that's using this preview window here. I'm just going to use some Looperman um, royalty free samples so I don't get taken down. Essentially, what you can do here is you can use your mouse here to select a portion of this audio file and then you can use Shift to attenuate the borders of the selection and and you can use control to take that that clip and put that anywhere you want so you can drag that straight into your door uh, if you're just using control you can drag that on your desktop if you want so super cool following on from that you can also use your MIDI keyboard which you can set here on MIDI input device you can choose, I've got an arterial key step that I've got selected and then you can play play that sample that you selected chromatically up and down the keyboard like you would do in a sampler amazing, so cool and so what I'm often doing is having a drum pattern going in another project and while I'm looking for samples and stuff I want to put in, I'm demoing up little slices in here. If I go to another sample here. So cool, you know. Like already in lo-fi land just pitching down the chord progression some jazz piano chords uh, stick a bit of vinyl cracker on that and you and you're good to go so that's really cool and then I'd obviously just once I found what I liked hold down control click and drag that into a sampler in my door you know it's a really quick workflow for getting samples uh, quickly into logic and looking through lots of different ones um, quickly and just testing them out if they're going to work. Yeah, so my second favorite feature of Audio Finder is the Spotlight Search and the Database Search. If you use Audio Finder a lot, a lot of your stuff will already be in your database because you would have tagged it um, and analyzed it into Audio Finder. But when you first get this program, the Spotlight Search is incredible because you can type in here anything you want. For instance, if I'm looking for a kick drum and I don't have a particular preference in mind, I don't really know what I'm looking for. I can type kick into my spotlight search and I can click in here and then I can go through. Uh, I can either go through my keyboard and test out kicks or I can use the star on my numpad to randomly shuffle through this entire selection of kicks that I've searched in my laptop's hard drive, which is insane. And if I find something I like, I can obviously click and drag that out. If I want to go back to a previous kick that I just heard, I can use command and the left bracket or command and right bracket to go forwards. So they're quite useful. Kicks you've, you've cycled through will also show up in your playback history here. So if you you can also use that to get, to go back and trace your steps and find samples that you like. Your search comes down here in your bin. So if I do another one now called snare, and I'm now going through this. So you see snares now come in here on on my on, in my bin, and I've I, I've now got all of these snares. I've got twenty six thousand snares and twenty. 3,500 kicks so it's completely unnecessary amount of samples but it does give you a way to search through a whole bunch of stuff you'd never usually listen to relatively easily 
if you want a little trick with this, you can turn off this waveform preview and you will no longer get the waveform here, but it makes it way more snappy to go through and it's it's as good as any program for shuffling through drum samples. It's as quick as anything else I've used, way quicker than using Finder. So that's a really fun way of reusing a lot of your samples that you've been sitting on your hard drive forever and you don't you don't know what to you know you, you're like oh i need a brass sample i don't know where i've got brass samples uh oh, i've gone brass into snare so i've got to go back to spotlight search i want a brass sample or somehow i've got two thousand brass samples i don't really know what they are but that's quite a nice stab and then i can start pitching that up and down the keyboard and seeing if it's going to fit with my song it's just so quick and you kind of yeah you, you're using it like a sampler really as well as well as a sample manager so it's doing a lot of the work for you before you've even gone near your door you're figuring out your ideas you can process stuff in here as well i don't have any of my vsts or anything enabled in this program because i don't really use it i like the flexibility that the kind of modern doors have so i leave the processing out of um audio finder so another really handy feature is this tap pad. So I'll often be working in another program like Machine or in Logic and I want to figure out what the BPM of a sample is and you can just use your spacebar to, f to tap here and to find out the beats per minute uh, roughly of what the sample is. It's, you know, I, I, you, I'm sure there's a bunch of applications that you can get something like this but it's handy that it's just got it in there for you. Another really cool feature which I, I use a lot is say I'm browsing like this. If I go back to kick and I like this kick and I want to know where it came from, I've got two options here. I can go show and finder, which will take which will take me to this folder, and now I can see where it's come from here. Or I can go show and browser here, and then it's taking me to that root directory here uh, at the top, and I've got and I can search through that now in audio finder so those two really help you speed around the place it's just kind of a, a, a way better way of doing things than you always using your finder to search through samples as a logic user it logic doesn't have the best library management and quite quickly looked elsewhere and thank god i found this beautiful program because it's been fantastic for me that's really my favorite features. There's a lot more I want to get into with the tagging. There's some stuff I can show you with how to find your lost files. Some more interesting stuff with how I combine this with other programs like Mixed in Key and stuff like that. I think one tip I might leave you with is in audio. These two here I think are the most useful in this preferences window. The MIDI playback uh, on Key Up is Oh, which is basically like a, when you release the key the audio stops really handy when you're doing that uh, sampling so if it's not working the quite way you think it might be because or the way I had it it might be because you haven't got this clicked on here this gate mode and MIDI input and background is also really useful if you're tr trying out kicks and stuff and you're trying to pair them with a song you're working on another project you don't even have to have audio finder selected you can be working with clicking around in your other project whilst just triggering the same kick in audio finder so that is incredibly useful well thank you very much for listening let me know if you have any questions in the comments uh yeah I look forward to getting some more videos out soon thank you